What's good, Keys of Game, bro? We are here, man. And we have a special, special guest, man. <laughs> we have Adam Calhoun, bro. You know what I'm saying? The one and only. We got the Brody here, the legend, bro. No cap. Listen, bro. This is had this has been highly anticipated, bro. I'm like excited as hell, gang. You know what I'm saying? Adam hit me up, hit my phone back a couple days ago after I hit him up like a few months ago and got to me. We're able to do this thing, man, and I'm just hella excited, bro. How you doing, Adam? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. This is fun. This is going to be fun. I'm excited to be here. Thank you, man. Of course, man. I appreciate you the long way, bro. No lie. Uh, this is actually um, the first time I'm actually able to do any content with an artist or anything like that at all, you know? Let's do it. I'll be the f <laughs> I'll be <laughs> first. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, I, hey, I'd like it that way anyway, bro. You you fire, bro. No lie. So, I um, it. yeah, bro. Like, don't you, you have an album coming out this, this Friday, right? Something like this that? Yeah, Friday the 13th, Pale Horse with me and my friend, uh, Mises. Mises. Um, yeah. Mises is fire. I've, I've heard a lot about Mises. I've listened to some of his music, too. Yeah, he's a very good rapper. Is, um, um, I see Struggle Jennings do does a lot of songs with you also. also. Yeah, me and Struggle have two albums that we've done over the years together. and um, I mean, actually, and me and Tom, we've done two albums together, so... Yeah, Tom. Um, Tom's really cool, man. Tom's really yeah. cool. I I like I really like working with other artists because it, it makes me level up my um, rapping ability right. and my outlook on things. Being around people for that long, you you get to feel and see a different side of of, of them and also life. You look in, in towards yourself, you know. So I and I really think it's awesome for the fans to see. Uh, art, their favorite artists working together, you know? Facts, facts. Yeah, that's that's honestly, I love seeing all of you guys work together also, you know what I'm saying? Like, before I actually knew, because, like, the first person I was introduced to was Tom, and then through Tom, like, I kind of got introduced to you, and then, like, uh, Mises and, and everybody else along the lines, and, like, I didn't really know that, like, all of you guys really made music together, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of people that I've, that I've reacted to, and I've seen, like, you actually working with a lot of these people in, like, your whole like niche you know what i'm saying yeah we're, we're independent so i feel like together working together it's it's bigger and stronger and it's it, it makes a bigger impact yeah it definitely makes it stronger bro the independent the independent artists like whole rapping artist community bro is just fire man you know what i'm saying it's just the most down-to-earth people that i've actually gotten to talk to you know what i'm saying so like uh i, I love everything you're doing bro no lie man love everything you're doing um thank you bro. i appreciate it of course bro so um, basically, I just wanna—I I got a few questions here. I have uh, jotted down. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is not a. Hey, so you guys know this is. I told them I don't want to hear any of the questions until we go. Yeah, facts. This is no questions that we're playing, gang. You know what I'm saying? I—I I came up with these on the fly in the in the last 24 hours. Let's I have on. no fucking <laughs> clue what he's about to ask yeah, me. I, we have no idea, bro. I have one question that I wanted to ask. That I was like, I don't know if he'll be all right with this one. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm going to ask it at the end and just see, you know what I'm saying, if you want to answer it. It is. If it's not, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We can start off with that question. All right. We'll start off with it. Okay. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Are you and Upchurch still cool? Yeah. Um, yeah. The, I, I mean, the simple, an the simple answer is yes. Like, cool. for, for everything that happened <clears throat> on the internet, which I don't. I wouldn't advise anyone to handle things on the internet like that, especially if you know someone. Uh, and, you know, we had that, we had, a, there was a weekend where I was on a show date, Demon Jones was on a show date, and then Brian was on a show date. We were all headliners on different days. And um, I stayed because I wanted to have this be squashed one way or another, whether it was, whatever way it was going to go down was how it was going to go down. I was ready for whatever. Right. And what ended up happening is we just talked and uh, like we did, you know, it was like, it was like we talked five, six, seven years ago. It was the same kind of feeling like that. And um, shook hands, hugged, watched his performance. Like I did every other person that performed that whole weekend. I was on the stage watching everyone's performances. And I stayed right. and uh, we left it at that as, we, if there's any other issues, just you know, reach out, yeah. and that's it's. And I'm I'm pro, uh, happy um, for his family and his new uh, addition to his family, his little daughter, mm -hmm. and 
you know, move on with life, be able to coexist. You know, we don't got to be best friends or, or whatever, but let's be able to coexist and bring people together instead of tearing each other down and tearing yeah. what, what we created down. And there's no um, hate, you know? Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's, that's good to know. That's good to know, man. Because, like, I, I've heard all the news, all the, like, bull crap lying YouTube channels saying all this stuff about how, like, you and, like, Upchurch's relationship, like, was whatever. And I was like, hell no. You know, like, me being a reactor from my standpoint and just seeing the music and everything, I was like, they look like they're cool as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, but, no, I mean, we did go through, yeah. you know, you know the bullshit on the internet, but no, only me and him know what we talked about, Fact. and that's how it's going to stay. Yeah. And that, and that's as far as I want to go with anything, because that was between... Me and him, and I don't want to bring it back on the internet. Nah, facts. Well, I got the answers I already want. You know what I'm saying? So it, I'll, I'll, we leave it alone. You know, we'll move on. No cap. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that, bro. Thank you. No, no problem. Um. All right. Next one, I would say, what made you start wanting to rap? You know what I'm saying? Whew. Uh, <laughs> so I think and this is just I'm just gonna be I'm always honest no matter how it sounds right so I remember the first I think I was in like seventh grade and I see this like this the first thing that introduced me to rap was like MC Hammer or some shit oh shit and then like Vanilla Ice they were kind of in the same vein uh but but then I was like oh this is cool but then I like dove into rap and I was yeah. like, Oh my God, that, so that's not rap. When I was just, <laughs> that's not rap. This is rap. And it was like master ace, mm -hmm. which I, I'm 44. How old are you? I'm 20, 25. Gang. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. So, so it was like master ace. And like, uh, I always give a big shout out to big, big L. I oh, don't know if you've right. heard of him. Yeah. Uh, he's got he's got songs like Ebonics and like that to me when I heard that song Ebonics I was like holy shit this is like so what got me first in the rap was like the pop version of Yeah, I was going to say that. It was like more like pop rap MC Hammer. Yeah, it's like, what they were pushing, but then I was like, "Well, wait." And I dove into it. I'm like 12, 13 years old mm -hmm. and I remember the first uh thing I saw was it was a Master Ace thing and I think that was in 93 like Slaughterhouse or some shit like that yeah I think I, yeah. that was the original Slaughterhouse and he had some mixtapes and shit and that's what really got me into it was that and then it went from that to like you know uh Wu-Tang and and you know then you go to from that to like just everything Rakim AZ not Jay-Z AZ yeah a lot of post rappers um just super, elite, super heavily uh, influenced by East Coast rap, you know, and and the history of it, and where it started, and 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 how it started. Like, an MC used to be the DJ. Yeah. That was like the master of ceremonies. That was the guy that was, you know, DJ, and he was getting everybody going. And then it and then it went from that to a guy got a mic, and they would rock, like, kind of rock the show. And then it's turned into rap, and then it turned into battles, and then it turned into this huge thing that we call hip hop or rap today. Um, and there's so much in between all that, but I, but I grew up in that, you know, 92, 93, 94, you know, my first album I went and purchased for my own self mm -hmm. that I walked to Best Buy on a Tuesday, back in the day, every Tuesday, they'd have a new album would drop, uh, was a uh, Goody Mob, uh, Soul Food, which I think was like 94. Um, and then it was like, it just was on from there. Like I yeah. just, I, I dove deep into to rap, and I just, it's crazy. It just made me so. Uh, I was like, this is cooler than anything I've ever heard, you know? Because I grew up listening to whatever my mom was playing, which was like the worst shit ever. <laughs> I feel you. I grew up listening to my mom music too, and it blew my shit. Yeah, Yo, that's crazy, bro. I'm, I'm gonna say like listening to your music. And just, like, your sound and, like, just things you say and everything. I can tell, like, you're heavily influenced influenced by, like, like the East Coast rapping scene. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I could I could get that vibe from you every time I listen to you. You know what I'm saying? And when I listen to you, it's easier to listen to you because I feel like it's coming from an East Coast type of vibe, you know? 
I just, well, so again, in that era where in the 90s, like me and Chuck, Mises, yeah. I, I can't call him Mises because it's just weird to me. So yeah. I've known him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've known him since we were like 16 years old. Oh, so, sure. um, so me and Chuck, uh, he likes East Coast shit too, and it, it worked out real well with us. As when we dropped our first album, we were 19, right. and that had that kind of East Coast swing to it. But um, when in that 90, what I was trying to say was in that late 90s, early 2000s era. I mean, East Coast ruled everything. Right. So I, I, that's I never really liked the West Coast rap. I like it now, the new school, like Kendrick and uh, yeah. Nifty and, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, there's a lot of other uh, guys out there on the West Coast doing, like, uh, Schoolboy Q. Uh, that Yo, motherfucker. Yo, I listen. love, I'll listen to anything he puts out. Schoolboy uh, Q's my boy, man. I love yeah. his music. I like listening to him. I'll listen to him before I listen to Kendrick or any of these other guys. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's I've always been an East Coast rapper. Even growing up in you know thirty miles south of Chicago with Do or Die and Crucial Conflict and and uh, Twista and, and and shit like that. Like yeah. you know, I still just gravitated towards East Coast shit. Yeah, I was gonna get to that too. That uh, I was gonna get to you being from Chicago and everything like that. So um, that's that's actually that was real surprising news for me when I heard you was from Chicago and everything. And then I kind of was like, Oh, like it makes a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like from the things you rap about and the things you say, I can tell like it's, it's coming from other places. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's well, yeah, I'm from a, I'm from a town called new Lenox, Illinois, it's 30 miles South of Chicago. It's all cornfields, small town. Yep. But yeah, we were, we were close enough to Chicago to get there when we were teenagers to to rap, you know. Mm -hmm. There was no white boys out here rapping. We were getting made fun of for rapping, like that we were looked down upon, you know. That's kind of like me. Like, when I, where, I, where I grew up, it's like cornfields and just woods and stuff like that. And I would just take, like, a bus, like, 10 minutes down the street and get to where I wanted to be, like, you know. Hey, the hood, the hood, the country, they ain't, they ain't far from each other. They're not. They're definitely not, bro. And I, I say I say that to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, like, there's there's not big of a difference, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just the like, hood, the suburbs, and the country are kind of pretty close to each other. They are, they are, and they're usually about five minutes down the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey yo. So um, one thing I have is what keeps you motivated? Cause I know like being like content creation and um and just the music scene and everything there is like periods in the career where like things aren't going as planned or maybe like there's a little like slump or something like that and you're just trying to like push through the hard times you know what i'm saying like what keeps you keep going keep working keep performing in like the internet entertainment like field you know what i'm saying i think so that's a really good question I'm going through it myself, bro. Like, <laughs> I honestly, the main thing that keeps me going is is pretty. I guess is this. I'm never satisfied with anything that I do, and I'm so competitive that I want to be the best at everything I do, and and I know that I might not be the best, but I'm always going to shoot to be the best. I'm always going to work harder than anyone around me. I'm always going to, at least that's what it, that's what it is. I'm never satisfied with myself. Everything I put out, I think I could have done better and I'm very competitive Hell or yeah. else I would quit this shit. I would have already been quit this shit. You Hell know what I'm yeah. saying? Hell yeah, bro. You, you got to have that confidence, you know, you got to have that confidence. And some people take it as like arrogance, but it's not, you know, it's just something that, that you need to instill in yourself just to keep yourself pushing. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm more hard on myself. I'm a very intense person to be around. Yeah. As far as when it comes to putting in work, it's time to work. Yep. Uh, I am more hard on myself and hate myself more than anyone else could possibly be hard on me or hate me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm constantly whooping my own ass mentally and it's never good enough. I'm not good enough. That's what keeps me hungry. 
Yes. But sooner or later, this this mindset kind of grinds on you and wears you down to where sooner or later I'll just be done because yeah. I can't I can't mentally do it no more. No, I feel you. It, it takes a lot, you know. And then plus you being like you know like a family oriented man, you know, it's like you you have to stay away from home a lot doing the music the music stuff. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, I, you, got, you got tour and you got you know sometimes on these albums I've been away for months. Uh, producing them with other people and yeah. yeah man it's it's um people don't get to see behind the scenes of how much uncomfortableness we go through how much kind of sad like lonely depressed shit we go through yeah. to get to give you this thing of creation from our heart soul to give to you for it to be like not receive well and and that's what keeps me going it's like i want this to be to be the best thing i've ever done right and, and you know that's not a that's not like a sob story everyone's got to go not. to work we all got to go to work it's sad being away from our families there's guys out there working three jobs that don't get to see their kids yes. so it's a shit i'm just on a tour bus and in a studio and i don't get to see my fa it's the same we all got to go through this shit no to be greater to give our kids a better life than we had and that's 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 real, man. That's real right there, bro. You feel me? This is this is going great so far, bro. You know, like you're doing some really good answers. I'm not gonna lie. Like, hold up. All right, here's another one. Another one right here. Moving across because we move, we're moving fast, bro. We're moving fast right now. What's up? God damn, I'm like really excited right now. I gotta stop being like this. I'm a flat. And <laughs> now be excited. That's that's. <laughs> Something that is very hard for me to get excited about anymore. Be excited, man. Enjoy this shit. This is this is great. Hell yeah, this is great, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm having a lot of fun, bro. Um, so here, here we go. Here we go. Top five rappers right now. Top five rappers. Hold on. Are you asking me my favorite top five rappers or the fi top five rappers of all time? That's that's two different questions. You're completely right. Um, all right, let's go with your personal favorite. All right, now this is just my personal favorite of what I like to listen to yeah. uh, on just a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I got to go with Benny the Butcher. Great. Um, Freddie Gibbs. Schoolboy Q. Old Kanye. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Old Kanye. And old fifty. Like like get rich or die trying the massacre fifty. Yeah, that's that's my that's honestly probably my favorite fifty too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's um favorite. maybe some honorable mentions. There's this white boy named uh O T the Real. I know who that is. Super, super hard. Uh, actually, he signed to Benny the Butcher. Super dope. So I'll give some honorable mentions of like just some some shit that I always kind of listen to. Two Chains, the old Two Chain shit. Yep, fire. Um, as far as new rappers, like I don't listen to. I don't follow that shit very much. Like Travis Scott and like. Yeah, all of them and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't fuck with that. Uh, it's like definitely a different vibe, you know. It's kind of mumble, you know. Like Nipsey, I bought all his albums. It's it's a, such a shame that, you know, most people didn't really. So many people discovered Nipsey after he died because yeah. he died. Yeah, that's sad. Nipsey, super dope. Um. And I gotta go with like Mexican OT. <laughs> He's like, he said uh, something like, bitch don't know how to cook. Mama didn't teach you how to cook. Yo, yo, I know it's what He's like, mama didn't teach you how to suck dick, but you could suck dick. dick. Yeah, mom, yeah, yeah, like, like mama didn't teach you how to cook, but uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That joint was fire. That was actually came out like a couple months ago. Yeah, but I would say the five. Oh, okay, hold up. Let, I got to redo my five top five. All top right. five that I always listen to, always. All right. Dipset as a whole, Cameron, Jewels, 
Uh, not Chip Jones, just Cameron and Jewels. So pull, fuck it, Cameron, ODB, old, ODB, old dirty bastard. Yeah. Old Kanye, Benny the Butcher, Freddie Gibbs. That's a good list right there. That's a that's a grimy list right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good one right there, bro. No lie. So like, I wanted to just say one of um one of my favorite songs. From, of yours is fight music that song i listen to it in the gym i listen to it in the morning you know what i'm saying i love that song and i love when you actually i have the bar right here this is he said i'm on he said i'm on guard like cp3 i'm he said he said i'm on guard like cp3 i'm hard-headed like cte i need to see receipts <laughs> nah, yeah. nah i was like hold up i'm hard he said i'm on guard like cp3 i'm hard-headed like cte that was crazy. I was like, hold up, bro. Because I had to really think about it. I was like, CTE, isn't that like some neurological, like, brain, like, trauma? Hard-headed, like, CTE is like, CTE is like a lot of these football players are getting, you know, when from you all the, uh, yeah, yeah. And that's why I said I'm hard-headed. And then, see, a lot, some of my fan base, they don't even know who CP3 is. That's crazy. Well, it's, it's, because I'm a fusion of rap and hip hop like like rural street culture and I'm a fusion of like country rap yeah. white boy shit you know both sides of the tracks I've been on mm -hmm. and uh so I think a lot of times I miss my audience my main audience because I go too hip hop street with it you know <laughs> and like and for anyone who doesn't know who CP3 that's Chris Paul the third who was a guard in, in basketball and one of the best <laughs> yeah so yeah that's honestly i was gonna ask you that too about because i know you do a lot of country you do a lot of rap you know what i'm saying you go back and forth a little bit sometimes more on the rap side that i kind of see you know what i'm saying but um what do you what do you feel like like what kind of music do you like to make the most like what do you like what is more enjoyable to make the rap or the country Well, I haven't done a lot of country. I, I've done a lot of country, like, hooks and, like, country rap music. Yeah. Which I really enjoy because there's a lot more melodies and, and like, they just sound smoother to me. Yeah. Um, But I got I to gotta always go back to my roots, what I originally started listening to that got me into um, wanting to be a rapper was I really enjoy making like really hard uh hip hop rap a lot of grimy like I like I like that shit yeah. that's the shit that's the shit that I really enjoy uh because I'm sharpening my sword when I'm doing that and being more lyrical and and it it makes me a better rapper but there's something very beautiful with the country rap because it's like I'm talking about another part of my life that a lot of people don't know about. Mm -hmm. And I and I get to like kind of sing and harmonize and then fuse that with rap, but how I saw rap on this side of the tracks, right? Yeah. Like being with my grandfather down south and and you know, being where I live is kinda it's not really it's, it's, I mean, if I walked you outside right now in my front yard, there's, you know what I'm saying? It's like, there's a, there is a country part of me and there is this street part of me and there is this suburb part of me. I'm not one thing. Yeah. So this is kind of this beautiful thing in country rap where it lets me be fully me. Mm -hmm. Like this, this side of the track where I came from. And I get to like be a little more vulnerable mm -hmm. and like sing a little. But then I always, try to make it more rap heavy and that's where I lose some of the country rap fans because I go straight into the hip hop yeah. encyclopedia that I have you know <laughs> yeah that's actually that's, that's actually crazy you say that because I was going to say like even when I hear some of your like your country rap or like country songs and stuff I still feel like you're rapping like you know what I'm saying like I still feel like you're like spitting bars you know and it sounds it, it's, it, it's just in me it's I'm sorry I didn't mean to Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm excited too. Um, <laughs> it's just in me. That rap shit is just in me. Uh, 
And yeah, I, I, I enjoy both, but I would have to say the thing that I enjoy the most nobody likes, I wish I could just hop on boom bap beats from the East Coast and rap on that all day long. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, nobody really gives a fuck or listens to that kind of music. It's like an old relic now, yeah. you know? Yeah, I feel that, you know what I'm saying? It's trying to keep up with like the trendy stuff, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? And it's just like, I know you, you kind of want to keep doing what you like to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. Freaking, um, that's fire, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This is uh, this is real informative, bro. Like, what's going on? Um, so how how good are friends? How good are friends are um, you and Tom? You know? I mean, that's a very good friend of mine. Period. Uh, you gotta understand, like, it didn't start off like that, <laughs> but um. <laughs> First, I'll say this about Tom. If more people got to meet Tom and spend time with Tom, um, they would love him so much because he's he's just a genuinely good human. Mm -hmm. uh, and he has he's he's you know he has a lot of emotion and feeling, and he's very driven too. So sometimes that causes. I mean, me and him have bumped heads together, like. You know, yeah. Um, but when I really started to appreciate Tom as a human being, is when I went out there to California for the second album, and I sat with him every day, ran with him every day. I've said this before. Lifted with him every day. He never gave up on me. He pushed me further. I pushed him further. Uh, we ate every day together. Every day. It's an every day. This is two months for every day. Yeah. I'm on music video sets with him. I'm not comfortable jumping around and doing all that. I don't do that. I'm more laid back and, you know, yeah. uh, and then you know, it just, he, he brought things out of me that, that maybe um, I didn't know I had in me. And I think I did the same with him. Um, he's been, a good friend of mine. I would do anything for him. If he called me right now to come out there, to, if he needed help, I'd be there. Yeah. Um, we, we talk regularly throughout the weeks and, um, what what some people might not know about Tom because a lot of his songs aren't aren't like true rap hip hop songs they're like they have a you know the the politics shit or the what's going on in society yeah. but I mean he he's one of the best rappers when it comes I mean the mirror song I was so happy to do that song especially with him just yeah. to let him flex his rap ability it wasn't about a subject of society it was a rap song yeah you know. And he really went off on it, and it just shows how versatile and how 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 good of a rapper he is, too. You know. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people, un like I feel like Tom's underrated when it comes to his rap ability. You know what I mean? And a lot of people like are just figuring out how talented Tom is, like on the Twitter aspect, because people like he just went viral for like a song that he dropped it like two months ago, three months ago, something like that, on Twitter, and everyone's like, "Who the hell is this guy?" Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, "What the he hell?" Like, he makes his own beats too. He does. Like, yeah. Oh shit. Thanks. Yeah. So it's it's really like the guitars you hear in there. Like he's got he. I've sat there and I mean you gotta understand. I sat there and spent time with the, every day with this motherfucker for two months straight. Um, he's really he's really an, a true independent artist. I mean he he's he makes his own beats. Yeah, that's. <laughs> That's is that's deep, you know. Like every every from Brave One and Brave Two, those two albums, he made every beat. Now that's that's actually like impressive as hell, you know. Because like I'll be the things that the, the, the things I don't know, bro. That man is talented. Y'all both are talented as shit, you know. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. And I, I wish y'all got more like a record like recognition for y'all work, you know. We will. It just takes years and years and years of grinding at this, you know. Hell yeah, definitely, definitely. Freaking, um, whew, let's see what we got here. I think I damn near, oh, all right, hold up. What's, what's your, what's the name of your favorite song on the album that's coming out this Friday? Judas the Liar. Judas the Liar. Judas? Judas. All right, Judas the Liar. Okay, word, word. All right, I'm gonna make it a point to react to that one. You know what I'm saying? I want to get It's like just, it's, it's, so now you gotta understand. Now, it's just like asking me, who's my favorite Top five rappers and who's the best 
five rappers. That's not the best. That might not be the best song on the album. But that's one of my favorite songs on the album. Right. I might do just like a whole album reaction and just like, you know, like sit down and just react to it, you know, and just kind of give like my personal opinion on what my favorite song is. The the re the reason that song I like it so much is because my friend Mises who, who Chuck, um, he's very um, he believes in God. He's very he believes in the Bible. Um, he's very that's that's him. Yeah. Uh, and we were in we I was able to incorporate on that song. I wrote the hook and. I love it because he he did the hook better than I did. Even though I wrote it, he did it. He performed it. Yeah. Uh, and it, it that song is more, it's about Judas and Peter and Paul and Mary. And and it's about, it's the in the hook, that's what it's about. Yeah. And then the verses are just really, really, like, cool. Like, it's a very, it's not like a religious song or a Christian song at all. Right. But it's it's basically it's basically you know um, Brutus killed Caesar, Judas killed Jesus. Like it's basically your bet your closest people will ki will will kill you and yeah and, stab you in the back. Basically. Yeah, and that's what the song's about. Yeah. And it's it's the way it was put together to me was just I love it and I love it because my friend Chuck who is very like I don't want to say the word religion because people use religion. But he's very uh, has a relationship with God and Jesus, and it was special to me for him to be on that song, and then for him to do the hook better than me, and be more prominent on the song. Yes, that's actually that's that's really good right there, bro. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna check that song out, and I'm a, I'm gonna definitely um dig deep into that one in particular. Time sleeping, hospital parking lot, stay awake at night thinking how I get these thoughts to stop. I try drinking, mix my pills with a lot of shots. That I tried drinking, I mixed my pills with a lot of shots. What the hell? Yeah, that's real life. That's real life right there. That was deep, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. That's that was that, that was real life years ago. Well, yeah, yeah. That that that's that's deep, bro. That's deep. I like how you can put like you can put like you you make yourself vulnerable in your music. You know what I'm saying? You have to. You have to, and that, that's what makes real music real music. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, like, like you can, like, I listen to a lot of music, and sometimes it's, like, sometimes it's, like, I just don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's, like, I don't feel it. Like, really feel it. And it's weird to say, but, like, with, like, with a lot of your music, like, even if, like, I don't relate to a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? I feel the emotion from how you rap it, how you say it. And it's, like, it makes me appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, man. Of course, bro. Of course. When I feel like people look at myself or other people and they hold us to a higher standard, like we're something special, uh, when really we're, we're the same as we're all the same. And uh, but I feel like it makes a difference when people think that you're special and you can speak to them. So they know that they're not alone and that they're going through the same shit. If I'm going through it and I'm supposed to be this guy, yeah, them going through it, they can relate and I can relate to them because I'm going through it, you know. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, it, it, it's 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 always good to have someone that you can relate to. You know what I'm saying? So when you speak about like when you speak about things that you've been through and the hardships that you're going through. And I know I, I know I, like, this is how it is for me. So I would, like, I would, I would take that, maybe, like, a lot of people take it the same way, you know? Um, when I hear things in particular, like, that I've been through myself, it makes me feel better about this situation, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I think about it too much, or maybe, like, it, it's, like, dwelling on me on, like, some, like, maybe on some, like, PTSD type time, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that's exactly what it is, but I'm just saying, like, hearing other people go through the same things you went through helps you cope with hope with the situation you no, know it makes you feel like you're not yeah like you're not by yourself okay someone else is going through this struggle so that means it's like you almost have like a battle buddy like we're going through this shit together and, and you can get stronger from it you know yeah like on some like trauma bond type stuff you know what i'm saying 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, like it's <laughs> but it's it's weird how how music can do that. You know what I mean? Like, and that's why I love it. It's like it's just words and stories being told, and it's like you can you can really feel them, you can relate to them, you can, or or you can not like them at all. You know, but it's it's like it's just how you take it is what's great about it. You know, music definitely can make your mood or change your mood. You know. Yeah, I, I I make it a point every morning to like listen to like my favorite songs. You know what I'm saying? The songs that make me ready for my day. You know what I'm saying? I have like three songs that's just like I listen to this song when I need to get my day ready. You know what I'm saying? And it's like people that can do things like that that can just change your mood and just get you ready to do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? It's it's it's, it's a blessing, no cap. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Music. Uh... In my life, music and movies uh, have helped me escape, you know, and, and think of things differently. Yeah, no lie. All right, y'all, we got Adam Calhoun's second unreleased song right here, gang, Judas the Liar. This one's going to be fire. Um, I believe Mises is on this one that we chatted about, right? He's on every song. Every song? All right, is this an album with just y'all two in general? Yeah, it's a joint album with me and him. It's our album. Word, 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 word. That's good. That's good. I think I, you might have said that earlier. I might. But <laughs> let's get it, y'all. Judas the Liar. Let's hear it. I am the shit you should watch when you step in the effort. I put out a second to none. Know what you say and know who you be telling, bitch. I shoot the messenger just out of fun. You yeah. just a comment and I barely read it. I'm up early counting comments for breakfast. Time is money, so I'm counting the seconds. I'm not the three or the two, I'm the one. I was down bad like I had no luck. If life nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. Yo, what you, what you starting off like that for, bro? Yo, what the? Hold the hell up. <laughs> you just turned me all the way up, gang. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. You just turned me up. I need to run that back. <laughs> I am the shit you should watch when you step in the effort. I put out a second to none. Yeah. Know what you say and know who you be telling, bitch. I shoot the messenger just out of fun. You just a comment and I barely read it. I'm up early counting comments for breakfast. Time is money, so I'm counting the seconds. I'm not the three or the two, I'm the one. I was down bad like I had no luck. If life was a bitch, then mine like to suck. She yeah. ran away, I guess life was a slut. Everybody said they come from the mud. Motherfucker, I was actually stuck. Part of me feels like I'm black, so I can say nigga and happily not give a fuck. Who wants to smoke? Bitch, I'm a blunt. Hold the hell up, yo! Nah, yo, you're gonna make a lot of people mad, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that was executed crazy. Hold up, hold up. This one's gonna be a banger, bro. This one's gonna be a banger. <laughs> this one's probably this is better than the last one. <laughs> hold up. I got about that back a second. The slut. Everybody said they come from the mud. Yeah. Motherfucker, I was actually stuck. Part of me feels like I'm black, so I can say nigga and happily not give a fuck. Who wants to smoke? Bitch, I'm a blunt. Bitch, the body. Hey, hey, me. Adam, let's be real, bro. You, you're, you're blacker than a lot of blacks. Let's be, let's be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's be real, bro. Like, <laughs> like, like, let's be real, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, like. <laughs> We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Was there, need a bodyguard like Whitney was there. Brought a couple nights to a gunfight. He looking crazy like Britney Spears. It's a difference here. You Pippin, I'm Jordan. Jordan. I'm Kobe, you Horace. I'm Bond like Kimo, you Paul. I'm Peter. When I get the song, you fall like Cedar. You soft as Bieber, I'm Nas. I need that you running unleaded. I'm pumping on seven. That shit is all diesel. I'll send you to heaven unless you are evil. Okay. Judas killed Jesus. Brutus killed Caesar. Your best friend will kill you before we're deceiving. Look forward to see it. Oh, that's that little part right there you was talking about. Judas could in and, and then he's yeah. like, your best friend, what's that? Yeah, yeah, he's wildin'. Hold up. I'm not the rapper, guys. You know what I'm saying? I say this to my people all the time. I'm not the rapper, guys. So if I butcher some bars or something like that, I'm just listening, gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> let's, not, let's not judge me like I'm the rapper now, like, you know? <laughs> Hold up. Kill Jesus. Brutus killed Caesar. Your best friend will kill you before we're deceiving. Look forward to see it. Yeah. City so fire. City so fire. David Goliath. Now we're on music. John is the Baptist. Judas the liar. Judas the liar. Peter was stabbed. Peter was stabbed. Mary was crying. Mary was crying. And we live in Africa. We live in Africa. Jesus would die. Double up, triple up. We caught us in Michael Jordan. We came up knowing the hood that we in by the color of mics that they sport. Okay. Swearing they hardest, but absence of fight. Like darkness, the absence of light. 
And death is the absence of life. You're flopping LeBron, this magic and Mike. Bitch, you walk with no bite. Talking that shit, but ain't part of your life. You can fact check every bar that I write. Only mistake I made, I ain't market it right. Right? Why if a rapper is white? How fast they rap on the mic? It's how dope you think that they are. Instead of the bars that they actually recite. I stay on point like the tip of a knife. If you don't let me give you some advice. Don't be giving no advice. At least not to me, yo. We probably get in a fight. Okay. Bitch, right? I give them scripts. So they may make twister. I pick up brothers. Y'all bitch like sisters. I put the work in. I got the blisters. Whole squad is winners. Y'all hot as winner. God, I'm a sinner. Not saying I'm proud, but I'm sincere. But lead is my calling. That's why I'm all in. Just say the word in my pants here. Yeah. yeah, cause Judas could Jesus. And Brutus could Caesar. Brutus could Caesar. Your best friend will kill you before a deceiver. Look forward to see you. Damn. The city's on fire. Nah, Mises did deliver on that, bro. He delivered like a mug on that, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, game. That that that's fire. And you said you wrote the the um Judas's Judas could uh, your best friend. Yeah. You, you wrote that. Yeah. So I wrote the hook, but then when I tried to lay the hook, it wasn't coming out how I wanted to. So I was like, go ahead, give it a try, Chuck. And he 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 crushed it. Nailed that joint. He definitely did, bro. This joint is fire. This might be this, this actually is my favorite one out of the two. I will say that. Yeah. This is my favorite one out of the two. David Goliath. So maybe just show him that one. Yeah, I'll show him, I'll show him this one. You know what I'm saying? I'll pick one. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. Smoke. Baptist. Judas the liar. Peter was stabbed. Peter was stabbed. Mary was crying. Mary was crying. And we live in Africa. Jesus would die. Hey. That was fire, bro. That was fire, man. <laughs> smoke, Thank you. Smoke, smoke, bro. Yo, I can't wait for that one to come out. This one has a music video for it, too, you said, right? No, that one doesn't, but I think we, we will end up probably making two more, and that'll be one of them. That'll be one of them. Yeah, that will be fire right there. I'm not even gonna lie. Yo, bro, yo, nigga sounds good coming out your mouth, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good, bro. Like it, sound like, it sound like it's supposed to be there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> what? I think what people don't understand is I've been called that my whole life by other people that weren't white. Yeah. And, you know, doing time behind the walls and in these cells, I'm with a lot of dudes who aren't white and yeah. calling, you know, they're calling me that like, and I'm, I'm saying the same thing back to them as a greeting. Yeah. So it's like, I don't really give a fuck what people think about that word. You know, it's uh, like, it's the Karens for real, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's usually white people who get mad about it. It is. 95% of the time, it definitely yeah. is. Like, I'm I'm mixed. You, like, my mom is white. Her whole side of her family's white. You know Obviously, you can tell. You feel what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm around this stuff all the time. And it's like, I don't get how people get mad about it. It's usually, it's, it's, and it's never, it's, Nine times out of ten, bro, it's not the black person who's mad about it. Because I listen to people say it all the time. And I'm like, bro, like, it's a word, bro. I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> I can understand. This, this is a touchy subject because I can understand. First of all, I can understand why people would get mad about it if it was said by a white person with malicious intent. I can also get – I can also understand why people might get mad – if it's said by a white person who like no, never no, been around no, black people and just they, thinks they, they can say that shit. Yeah. Uh when at the end of the day it's like really nobody should be saying this shit, you know, but it's a part of the culture that I grew up in. Hell even yeah. though I am white. Uh and it's it's things that I've been called throughout my life in different areas, uh and different times. So it's like you know I don't I really my fault. My oh, fault. Yeah, go ahead. You know what I no, feel like is like, well, you know what I feel like is worse? Like when, cause like, you know how like, like colored people, black people will be like, yo, like what's up my nigga? You know what I'm saying? And someone will be like, oh, I'm not a nigga. Don't call me a nigga. I feel like that's a lot worse than reciprocating the energy. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a, it's, um, it's something, it's a word that I don't really, I can use it when I feel like it or not. And it's not like, it's a word that I I I I, I use. Period. Yeah, <laughs> I, it's not like I use it throughout the day, all day long, or I'm saying it around my family or children. You know, if one of my guys is greeting me like that, that's how I'm greeting them. Yeah, it's simple, you know. And it's like some people just got to learn how to just stop being so freaking sensitive, you know. 
Like stop. Being but I do shit. under I do understand the other side also. Yeah, yeah, and there's there's two different like you can tell easily. You know what I'm saying? Like which which direction you're like you're getting it you're, you're getting it from. You know what I'm saying? Like you can tell if it's like malicious or if it's just out of like you know what I'm saying genuine. You know, feel me like energy just being reciprocated or something that's just like genuine. You know. So I, I understand that a lot. I don't want to stay too much on that subject, on that topic right there, because it's like, you know, it is like a sensitive topic and it does cause a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, it is what it is, bro. This is this is great, man. How long are we into this? We're an hour. I'm so sorry, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, but, we did, we're doing good. Yeah, we're, we, we did real good, bro. You know what I'm saying? And this was fun. This was like... um. Way, way better than what I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be like a nervous wreck, you know what I'm saying, over here stuttering and just like, ah, ah I don't know, like, you know what I'm saying, iffy and stuff, but you're just... We're the dude. same, bro. We're just out here trying to live our dream and fucking be people, and, and uh, we both just don't know what we're doing, but we're here doing it. <laughs> yeah, facts. You just got to do better every day, you know? That's right. Freaking, I'm I'm happy that we've been able to get in contact, man. I'm happy that we've been able to chat, have conversations, and um, talk about things that, you know, a lot of people just would have trouble just conversating about anyway, you know? So, yeah. um, you're you're an amazing person, bro. I want to give my flowers to you. You're, you're, you're amazing, bro, and God bless. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you, man. God bless you. And, and if you ever want to do this again for anything, right. uh, commentary, or you want to do, like, maybe a – a reaction together to someone else's music, or I'm I'm down. Hell yeah, bro! You feel me? Maybe we can react to some of Tom music. You feel what I'm saying? What, whatever you want. You know, I I'm I'm understanding now how important uh, reactors and you guys that are creating and reacting are for independent artists like myself and our careers and the new eyes that maybe never knew who we were. You guys are putting on us, so I want to say thank you for. That. Thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. Thank you for uh the thanks to me as well. And um yeah, bro. Um we're we're locked in now, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So I'll definitely be in touch. There'll definitely be more, you and me. You know what I'm saying? We can definitely do some Let's go. other things. You feel me? I'm hype as hell, bro. You feel <laughs> I'm hype, bro. Like I'm I'm smiling and shit. My face hurt, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, yo, good looks, man. I appreciate you. Everyone, bro. Adam Cahoon album this Friday. The thirteenth, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what that day means. It's about to get real. Yeah, you know. It's about to get real different. So stay tuned, bro. Adam Calhoun, we're definitely gonna be tuning in that whole album reaction coming on Friday, gang. No cap. Love you guys, man. Much love. Thank you for watching. No lie. All right, y'all go. So uh just thank you for everything.